There is a, there's a word that is very misunderstood by a lot of white Europeans, and that is the word groove. And uh, musicians here, they think they can go to school and learn groove. And they think that it's, that it's something a concept somehow removed from them that they have to acquire or, or, or learn. But when you talk about timing and rhythm and stuff, it's all about accurateness of time. You can think of it as the concept of drawing a perfect circle. When you draw a circle and try to make it perfect, even though the the objective is making a perfect circle. If you actually achieve the perfect circle, it will be very boring. But the, the, the individual failures of making it absolutely perfect actually reveals the beauty of your personality. It makes it from a, just a perfect graphic uh, object to art. And, uh, and with time, it's the same thing. It's, it's a matter of understanding the, the movement of time and the, the subdivision of pulse. Uh, and another thing is that there's also a misconception that, that there's some absolute quality in, uh, in having a metronomic uh, quality to your playing. We are all uh, very what would you call it, very um, dynamic beings. Our sense of time relates to our heartbeat, to our pulse, to the, to the, the tempo of our uh, existence, our being, our, how we feel time. I mean, if, you, if you're in a very exciting situation, time, uh, time can move very, very slowly. Like in an accident, for instance, you, you can see things happen in, in slow motion, basically. And, and with music, it's, it's all relating to how you feel. Like, like one night when you're really excited about playing, you play something that you should really play in a slow tempo. It goes really fast. It just goes up with your, with your basic mentality. So, and, and as music gets more exciting, it can speed up and slow down. And, and that is okay. I mean, it's, it's not, you don't have to play like a clock. You don't have to keep time like a clock. It's a matter of how you connect with other people's time and how you subdivide, subdivide the pulse. Um, basically, you can think about it as, as the quantization on a, on a sequencer. Like you have a certain amount of beats in between every pulse beat and your awareness of, of, uh, of that pulse that goes in between is essential for you, for you to having good time and understanding how how timing works, and that if you have a, a complicated rhythm, that you actually hit those notes on the exact points where they're supposed to be hit, and then 
automatically, automatically I pro promise you, you will have groove. And trying to emulate somebody's groove, quote unquote, who comes from another culture entirely, is pointless because you are a product of, of your culture, of where you grew up, what language you're speaking, what your, your grandparents did and what, your, what food you eat and everything. You got to be brave enough to be yourself and just accept the fact that that um, if you're Swedish or German or English or Italian, you are not a black American. You didn't grow up in that that environment. You didn't uh, go to church from the age of two. You don't you don't have that sort of. Um, uh, Expression. It's, it's a different expression, and uh, not, that's not saying that you can't play, say that you can't play funk music, that you can't play this kind of music, that kind of. But you got to realize that you have to be yourself. You have to to express yourself the way you know how to. You got to speak your language as as you speak it. I mean, it it's you can you can compare it to uh, to we all speak English these days, or most of us anyway. And a lot of people go to England, to America, for instance, and they try to speak, you know, American pronunciation and everything. For me, I don't care. I, I speak with a Swedish accent. I am Swedish. That's who I am. I'm, I'm not going to... And I play with a Swedish accent. So my groove is not New Orleans. My groove is not Kinshasa or, or Lagos. My groove is is Stockholm, for Christ's sake. That's that's where I come from, and that's that is my sort of timing. And if I know that, and if if I know where I come from and how I I play, then I have a a point of reference where I can approach other pe other people and find a way to connect. But really, the key issue is is as I said, is really to understand how time works, what goes between the beats. Actually, and what I mean with that is like if you have a pulse, if you have and even seven, whatever falls between is what it is. You know, it's not, it's not like that, like that. It's it's an exact science, and and your capacity to to move with that kind of subdivision of the of the measurements of time is really that is really what your groove is